Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Lunar Silver Star Story complete for the PlayStation 1. My name is the Fightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel and today we are on our way to our next town. Hope you're all having a wonderfully fantastic day today. Hi there, how you doing? Look like the guy from uh, Lufia. Although I haven't played Luffy in such a long time, I don't even know if that's accurate or not. <laughs> Welcome to the port city of sea. Did you journey from Berg? Oh, I see. The fog has lifted from the woods. I'm so relieved to hear that. You're welcome to rest here as long as you'd like. Ah, do you smell that? The whole town reeks of fish. I'm in heaven. And Nal is our little guardian angel. Ha ha ha. Ah, oh, it's so good to be back. I haven't played this in a couple days because I got a new computer and um... Yeah, uh, getting everything working was a mission. But I think everything is good now. I want to be a cat my next life, so I have an excuse to be moody. No. Since when did you need an excuse? Aw, oh, come on, Ramos. Must be nice. The biggest city of the mainland is Mervia, founded by Master Mel, one of the four heroes. Boats frequently sail for the docks at the south end of state across to Mervia. Come a little closer. Ah, oh, there. Let me get a look at you. Oh my goodness, you're adventurers. This is the first time I've seen adventures in forever. You remind me of the young Dragon Master. Dain became one of the four heroes after setting out on an adventure. On his way up to Meridia long ago, Dain met up with Hal Mel, who was then one of the most viewed pirates on the high seas. After fighting for seven days, the two men were so or out, they declared a draw. Hal Mel settled down to quiet life for Meridia, while Dain... Oh, I'm getting old. This is so you know it. I want someone to hear it. Aww. Ah, I got stuck. I wonder if Lake was one of the four heroes. I mean, it seems like it, doesn't it? That guy was really strong. Like, stupid strong. Hey, are you really going to be a Dragon Master? Gosh, if you come like dying, I'll be a bride. Dragon Master is so hot. Oh, yes, Alex. She make a charming, brainless bride. <laughs> I hate dogs. All they ever do is bark at me. Well, of course they do. Dogs and cats don't get along with each other. Oh, you are pushing it. She's not a cat. The, you guys travel for Berg? Well, that's impossible. The thick, the forest has been blanketed thick fog for days. No one can travel through it. That fog is gone thanks to Luna's song. She has a great pair of lungs. Great, now I can attend the goddess festival in Berg. Okay, well, yeah, there's a bunch of goblins and stuff there, though. Meow. Hey, leave me alone. Ah, all the cats here seem to be female, and they seem to like you now. Knock that off, bad kitty. Aww. Oh. Aww. Just trying to be nice, Nal. I don't know. You need a girlfriend, Nal. That's what I think. <laughs> Mervia is the biggest city, or a boyfriend. Mervia is the biggest city on the mainland. They ship all the jewels in the world there. They are jewelers just for the rich in that great city. Jewelers, Alex, they might buy our gem at a good price. It's not like female, male, doesn't matter. It's null. Null is null. I just picture a uh, null as a, a female little flying kitty. Because, you know, female flying kitty. FFF. I mean, it kind of works. <laughs> you look like adventurers. Do all of you know about the four heroes? Uh, no, we really don't. Well, then I'll give you a brief rundown of four heroes. Dragon Master Dine, who hailed from the nearby village of Berg. He's, um, gone now. Mel de Alkirk of Merbia, a Herculean beastman, also known as Hell Mel. Sounds like, a uh, Merrick, was it? Lemia Ayusa, the leader of the Vain Magic Guild. She's not young, but she's certainly beautiful. And the great sage Galeon, premier of the city of Vain. He was Dine's best friend. Okay, there you go. Feeling more light now? So that means that Lake is not one of the four great heroes. But man, he, he definitely is strong enough to... Ah, get out of my way, I can't get out! Uh, he's definitely strong enough to be considered a great hero. Everyone here says Mervia is a wonderful place to live, but that's simply ridiculous. More and more people crowding that filthy city every day, and crime is skyrocketing. Uh, why do we have the feeling he doesn't have statistics to back up his theory? Oh, come on. Pretty sure it's fine. <laughs> Who needs real facts, anyway? Um, the, the shops of Mervia have items for the sale, the likes of which I've never seen, and all of them are quite exorbitantly priced. Ah, there's no doubt in my mind now. We're gonna make a fortune off this diamond. 
Yeah, probably not. Just because something sells so expensive. I mean, just because other people are charging expensive stuff doesn't mean that we can buy it. What? It's locked, Alex? I wonder what's that? Oh, God. This is Bravely Default all over again, isn't it? There's got to be these chests in around the world that we can't open until, you know, we, we do multiple loops through the game and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like EX game. You, you, you get a key that opens up all the locked treasures. Hey, Oalico, some weird guy asked me if I knew a lady who was a good singer. I, I wonder if he was looking for Luna. Maybe. Oh, God, a statue. For you. I wonder what the point of an inn is if you got a goddess statue. Uh, welcome to the weapon shop. Oh, excellent. This is good. Okay, let's see. 360 is not exorbitant. That's pretty decently priced. I will, eh, will not buy one of those. Instead, I will go to sell first. And uh, maybe we should... Sure to... I mean, antidotes are kind of weird because if it's a long battle, you're going to save yourself by using antidote, but in short battles, you're wasting a turn to heal, and the enemy could always just poison you again. So I'm going to just get rid of all of those, because I don't need them. I know, this may be a really bad choice. But unless it's a boss, it's not going to really work. Garbage can lid. Hey, how about that? Okay, now we have some spots. I'm going to get rid of one herb, too. And uh, let's see. Light does matter, indeed. Uh, equip. And then, uh, only 200. That's not bad. Kinky, yet comfy. Ooh. And then, oh, this is better. Dang it. Shoot. Uh, so that's for her. Yeah, so we don't need to buy her armor because she, we already have armor that's good. Uh, she probably could use the bow. And then you, you could use the bow too. You can't equip a sword, so I could give you a bow. It makes it so that you do one less damage, but... Well, I mean, putting Alex only on the front row is probably not the smartest idea, but then again, he's really slow. Like, he's super slow. So what if I give him a bow and I turn him into an archer? I did it again. I'm wasting money. Gotta love wasting money. I mean, no, I'm not gonna do that because I I've already wasted enough money. I don't wanna waste any more money. I I'll just keep him as a uh, swordsman. Hey, she gets a kicky gear. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oops. There we go. I, I, I feel really bad about wasting 300 money though. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. Bad weather workwear. Sell that, sell that. Sell that, sell that. Alright, cool. We got about 1300. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's something. Why do dogs hate me so much? Eh, everyone hates you now. Dogs just aren't afraid to tell you so. You're crazy for bruising, Mamus. Yeah, I, I, I agree. You don't make fun of my, uh, my, uh, kitty cat. She's awesome. It's like one of the best support characters I've ever seen in RPG. Wow, what the heck is that weird thing behind you? Weird? Me? This child is wise beyond his ears. Yeah, uh-huh. Not weird at all. He's awesome. Well, she's awesome. That was awesome. My mom and dad are away, so I have to stay here and take care of my little brother. What a mature little girl. She reminds me of you, Yuna. Thank you, Ramos. But flattery won't get you anywhere. Okay. We need to find a place to sell this uh, stone, right? No, we need to go to Mervia, so we need to get on a boat. I finally found a job in Mervia. I can't wait to move. My parents are driving me crazy. Do you know when the ship to Mervia departs? We're about to find that out ourselves, actually. Yeah, we need a uh, need our ship. Are you just jealous of me because I can fly? This is not pal. Flying is not easy. For example, I had to take thermal eye drops and air pressure into account. Uh, now we have to go. Yeah, I, I'm I'm jealous of you a little bit now because I can't fly, and it would be nice to fly. So I'm just saying. Is this a uh, book I can read? Nope. Getting stuck on things is weird. 
Uh, hi, hi. Can I talk to you? Ah! Sorry about that. What a strange language, Alex. I've never heard anything like it before. Um, actually, he doesn't have his dentures in. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, what a pretty cat. Come here, sweetness. Come on. I didn't mean you, Nal. Oops. Nal is cute, too. Hello? 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 Ah! Dang it. I hate pressing buttons. I'm trying to click her, and she can move away, so I hit her too many times. I'm always looking up, cooking up something, kids. Stop by whenever you're hungry. I love the company. Ah, I miss all dialogue now. Oh, dang it. I need to get better at that. I don't like missing dialogue. I mean, dialogue is what makes a game, like, really fun. Like, all the extra thing that they do to put that into the story. Save the burger, Sister City. So the burgers were isolated because of mountainous terrain. Sister Cities, huh? Don't relatives give, give each other food? Say, for example, fish? No. I'm convinced you have a stomach where your brain should be. <laughs> I, I don't blame them. What sad little creatures? Even though they have wings, they can't fly. Oh, come on, no. Come on. Come on, no. Yeah, I skipped that because I don't want to hear that. Don't, don't talk negatively about things that can't fly. Okay, all they do is bark. We've done that one. My son keeps asking me to move across the city of Moravia. What do you think of it? I, I think it's a great idea. There's nothing for kids out here in the bonies. In the bonies? That was a word I haven't heard in a long time. I want to go to Moravia, but my mom says it's too dangerous. She doesn't know anything. Your mom doesn't want you going because she's worried about you. And you shouldn't speak of the woman who brought you into this world like that. Ooh. Scary Luna is scary Luna. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't do that again. I'll just mumble to myself. Yikes, Luna. Okay, uh, doo -doo -doo. we've seen that one before. And that's all for this house. <laughs> I had to wait for the dog to grow. <laughs> you all dressed up for adventure, big guy. Will you take me with you? Uh, sure thing, babe? No, I don't think so. So, Alex, you had to think about the answer. What's going through your mind? I thought so. Just don't even look at me right now. Jeez, even when I said no, Luna still gets angry at me. Yikes. Your children are going to Merbia? You should pay a visit to Hal Mel. Mel is one of the four heroes. He's idolized and considered a hero by everyone who knows him. Ah, of course he is, because he's the most powerful person in the city. I bet he's filthy rich. Oh, I mean, you say the world may happen. Merbia is governed by Mel de Elkirk, a fellow beastman. Heck, Hal Mel is our hero. I'll gnaw my own foot off just to meet him. Mel is as popular as Saith and Dinah is in Berg. Yep, you all have your um, heroes in each of the cities, you know? That That's kind of cool. Beastmen and humans have lived together in relative harmony for years. It wasn't always this way. I, I guess I never thought about it before. That's because you're the exception now. Be nice. Maybe someone to throw you off in the, the, the ship when we get running if you're not nice to Null. Null is the best. I uh, love Null. Uh, have we been down this way yet? i stay out of here if I were you. You never find a more wretched pipe of scum and villainy. Plus the beer's water down. <laughs> oh, I love the Star Wars humor. That makes me want to go inside even more. He's just trying to help us all, isn't he? Um, do we want to go there next? Well, let's go here next. We'll, we'll work left and right. There's nothing a lot more shopping in Moravia. I'm getting excited about a trip, Alex. Yeah, I just cares about shopping. Nothing's changed in the many years. I, I think I've been here before because there was an orange chest there, right? Maybe it's a terrible place. Stay here and safe. Ah, this grumpy old man is more stubborn than my father. Okay, I, I don't think I have been here before. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go to the pub next. And then we'll work our way south. My stone went bankrupt. My wallet was stolen. The luckiest man in all of Zed! I'm so sorry, sir. He's not talking to you, Lena. He's talking to his bear. 
I hit lost all the money a bit earned on my left voyage. Yeah, that, that's that's gross, dude. How are? Hey, what are you kids doing here? My first kid, new customers are hours in the under eight. I need someone to bring in new patrons. Anything? Yeah, I know that feeling. Howdy, children. My name is Brett. I reckon I'm the best when there is comes to gambling. I don't care much if I'm playing a man, woman, or child. As long as I have money, I'll take it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I am so thankful for our patrons and YouTube support members that we have, though. You guys are awesome. You know that? You're just fantastic. Really, really life changing. You know, I've heard that Red the Tail the Gambler hasn't been beaten for over 20 years. Captain said he'd do it. He put up our seat chair as booty. Brett cleaned the poor fool out. And now we can't sail. Can you be any dumber than that? Yeah, it sounds like our next quest. But, I mean, I could have bought my computer that I bought without y'all's continued support. I mean, it's not much, but it helps. Why haven't any uh, ships left for Mervia today? I don't want to wait here a second longer. I I'm with you, madam. I can't wait to get out of this awful town. I didn't mean to yell. I'm just upset because I had a fight with my lousy, no good Debbie husband. Are you the lousy, no good Debbie husband? Ship to Mervia has his yet sail. What's going on? I have to return there to close a big business deal, and if I miss, I lose big bucks. I, I feel your pain, sir. Time is money. You want to board the ship to Mervia? Sorry, kids, but that's completely out of the question. No, the ship is fine. It's kind of a long and embarrassing story. Talk to the captain in the back room for all the sordid details. I actually already know the sordid details. Oh, hi, mates! I'm the captain of the Hispaniola, bound for Mirabilia. The, the sea is tossed so hard that I need me sea chart to navigate it. But I seem to have gambled it away. Aye, that's Gervy Duck! You won't be so lucky next time. I have a rematch with his head, I tell ya. Uh, what's the sea chart? Some kind of yellow, uh, really yummy fish? No, silly. It's a map of the ocean sailors used to avoid hazards. Alright, son. Don't ask me why I don't have my own sea chart. Ask the dock master. Arg. Um, worst poker play in history. The man's eyes twinkle with delight every time he gets two cards with pretty pictures on them. Now I have a port full of angry passengers, drunken sailors, and riding cargo. Lovely. Brett is gloating at the bar. Okay, so we know where to go next. Uh, have we been everywhere else, though? Yeah, I think we've been everywhere else. Um, who's it gonna be? Probably this guy. Pardon? You want the sea chart? Hmm. Gamble with me and I reckon we can talk. How about it? I reckon we will. Alright, then. Let's play for 100 sis. Uh, we'll start with a real easy game, son. I toss a coin, he gets heads or tails, I call it. Uh, normally you always choose heads. Which makes you want to choose tails. So sorry, son. The tails are tails. She ain't mean it, but I reckon that's what they call it gambling. I reckon you called someone like Edgar. Yes, you're Edgar Figaro, aren't you? Here's that two-sided coin, I see. Ah, the dots. Just one more game, son. I don't want to leave your book, heads or tails. Uh, tails this time. With all due respect, boy, I reckon you're the new worst game I've ever seen. It's heads. I'll give my money. Hmm. Hey, Alex. Um. Uh, did you look at the coin he's using? I mean, really, look. What do you mean, Ramus? The coin he flips isn't the same as the coin he shows us, but is switching after the toss. What? Are you sure we should accuse the best gambler of the to get cheating? Ah, come on now! If anyone knows anything about money, it's me. Let's do it one more time. I'll be fine, I promise. You kids are back? Come on now, I don't want to win no more of your allowance. It just ain't right. I want to make things more interesting, Brett. I want to bet this. Oh, a cow. Hey, miss, you better be sure about what you're doing. We didn't come all the way to Smith to say to lose a diamond on a coin flip. Holy God, it's Athena. I reckon that's the prettiest rock I've ever seen. Got yourself a bit, son. Ha. Huh. There, see? So, so Ramus's plan was to beat up Brett. Sheer genius. Put that coin down, boy. Why, Brett? So I don't notice it has two heads? Brett, you're cheating, but you're nothing but a lying cheating weasel. Okay, so no matter what I call, 
He's got one coin that has double heads and one coin that has double tails. I knew the coin was fake when I heard it hit the table. A real coin makes a deeper clink. Oh dear, I've been caught by a child. News of this was to travel, I'd be ruined, you naughty beastly boy. Got the dragon diamond and our money back. Huzzah. I see your accent was as fragile as a coin's. So oh, I didn't notice that. That's awesome. Don't you know that you can't con a con? Game over, Brett. Now give us the C chart. I'm afraid I don't have it. Please don't shove me again. I burst quite easily and I'm a bleeder. What? You said we had to gamble for it. Well, I said you had to gamble, but I never said I had the chart. You, you, ninny, ninny, dub, dub, poo, poo. <laughs> it's like watching Elf. Um, uh, well said, Nal. I traded the sea chart to an old woman in the forest northwest of the state. She gave me this. Fortune cane. Take it with you. Perhaps the woman will trade again for this cane or something else. Uh, what did you give us this cane, Brett? Well, I was hoping you brats or I mean you dirty little children would keep our little secret. Okay, so we gotta go northwest of Saith. Hmm. I wonder if this uh, lady's gonna join us. Would be nice to get another party member that actually gets levels. So let's see, northwest. And of course, we're not going back to the forest. Ah, there we go. I see a house. So I guess we are going back to the forest. But it's a different forest. Yep, it's a different forest. Uh, apparently, um, open your treasure box, summon a, a fly. Ah, I didn't mean to hit the auto button. Oh well. Wow, they hurt. They hurt a lot. Okay, maybe it was a good thing I used the auto button here. I love how you see the different weapons in play. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, though that hurt a lot. Okay, um, you defend. Because I don't want that thing coming after you. They hurt a lot. Oh, uh, let's see. Magic. Song. song. Her healing songs seem to have gotten a lot stronger, too. What is this, a roach? I hate roaches. Please let me not be a roach. No, they're not roaches. A mutant odds. All right, you have a double attack now, so I think you can actually take that guy all by yourself. Huzzah. Don't know if he can, though. Oh, he can, just barely. Wow, oh, these guys hurt. That's a crit. Still, those guys hurt. This is why I need a character who actually gains stats. Because right now, Ramus is getting fully... They got a lot of experience for a fight, though. Right, uh, let me heal. It's gonna be a lot of healing here. Maybe that's why he was supposed to equip the bow. Because he just doesn't have the stats anymore to stand up to a... Uh, to a threat. That's a lot of these things. Good lord. Okay, this is dangerous. Because if Alex can kill that one, then I want Luna to hit it. But I don't know if Alex can kill or not, so I'm gonna put my faith that he can. Alright. Thank you, Alex. Right around him. It's okay with me. Try that one next. Try that one next. Try that one next. Okay. 
Luna gets it here. It's okay. I can heal. Perfect. That was pretty good. That was beautiful. That double attack is so useful. This this area would be so much harder if we didn't have a double attack. But being able to kill uh, two enemies per round is absolutely essential. How many are there? Just three. All right, why don't you go out to that one because it's gonna fly to you. You guys go out to that one. Okay, maybe it's not gonna fly to you. Ooh. Ooh, Alex. Alex is showing some skills right now. Yeah, I mean, even look at the size of the swords. Like, Ramus' sword is smaller than Alex's. I, I just love that. It's the small details that make me happy sometimes. Let's walk right by that chest. Mm -hmm. Okay, um... I believe the mutant ant's gonna move first, so if he does... And of course, by move first, I mean... Oh! Oh, wow, he actually got there, too. I'm shocked. I didn't think he would, um... Had the movement to get there. Alright, this is going really well. I'm telling you, those little bit of extra... Fights that we did... Really, really do matter. And a lot of times in, like, a lot of the old RPGs, you know, you, there's times that you have to grind, and then there's times that... It, it's then there's times where you just um oh that sucker you just fight everything you see so by fighting everything you see you can make progress oh wow, nice crit those bees are a lot more sturdy though wow we're taking down those flies easily that's pretty impressive Probably would have been better if I, um, if I had Rambus like the B. But in the end, it's okay. I mean, we're gonna take damage from this no matter what happens, just because we can't one shot the bees. A lot of experience. Okay, 4 HP, 2 MP, 2 attack, 1 defense, 1 agility, 1 wisdom. That's eh, not a battle. Ooh, explosion staff learned. Why is staff though? Uh, 5 HP, good. 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 agility, 2 wisdom, that's good. And nothing else. Uh, Tranquil Assault. And Ramus gained a level and all he gained was 3 HP because he doesn't know how to gain levels. But we did get two new abilities that we're definitely going to check out. First thing I'm going to do though is heal level 1. Unless that's an AoE heal. It is an AoE heal, but it doesn't heal much. It does not heal much. Okay, that's good to know. So in a pinch, use this, but otherwise you want to use this. Uh, explosion sap, easy pressure attack. So it, it's uh, three more mana. Um, instead of doing one enemy, it does E and a Z, which means I have no idea. <laughs> yes, which means I have no idea. I don't know what EZ stands for. Uh, everyone in a zone? I don't know. Oh, right. That was not a chest to open. That was not the chest we want to open. Okay, let's see what that... I don't know what that does. Okay, maybe it's a PBA wheat radius. I mean, it's hard to tell because I think the other guys may have been out of range. But it's quite possible that was a PVA wait. Extra attack seems to have helped. We can now two shot those guys, which is really, really good. And now we got these two flies that we need to take care of because unfortunately, when we open that chest, they swarmed us. 
Now, fortunately, though, we should be able to take these guys out pretty easily. I mean, they're faster than me, so fortunately, that's just gonna hurt me. Crit is unfortunate. Luna needs like one more attack to one shot him. And this one's just gonna run into us right away. It's okay, let him run into us. And then we'll heal afterwards. Should be okay. Even if there's bees, we'll be okay. Nice, we got the speed advantage for once. Oh, that one, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's a perfect fight. Absolutely perfect. So yeah, I mean, as long as we just kill everything that we see as we go, I think this will be a, um, a a much better experience. Because early on, I was getting floored. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of these things. But we had first initiative. Alex is the beast, man. I don't mean to call him a beast, man. I mean, he's he's a beast. Oh, that sucks so bad. Oh my gosh. They just totally decimated my entire party. And unfortunately, they're a little too far away. If Alex gets first jump, though. Wow, that fight sucked. It's a good thing we did get a first attack. Imagine if we didn't get first attack there and all five of them would have used that ability. That would have been crippling beyond belief. Um, let's go ahead and uh, use a herb here since we have quite a lot in our inventory. And then we'll go ahead and use heal on the rest. Still doesn't fully heal, unfortunately. Yeah, wow, that's... I hate to use two heals on one person, but... Ramus takes a lot. I knew that was a trap chest. I just knew it. I just knew it. I just knew it. It's too much in the open, you know? But again, if uh, we get first strike here, should be able to take two of them out. I do call it perfect getting hit once. Absolutely. That is a good fight. I imagine I need to go up, so what I need to do is I need to go back down towards like the entrance and go the other way. Because I have a feeling that will lead me to more treasure. Hopefully actual treasure and not bees in the box. That'd be great. Oh. No, that's enough. This guy seem to have exactly 20 hit points. Going, the fight, the fightles, the fightles. The battles are going much smoother now, that's for sure. The fightles are going easier. <laughs> oh boy, that's a lot. Um, hmm. Okay, that was good. I'll take that. That's unfortunate. Yeah, poison sucks because it's basically 10 damage plus 6 or 7 or 8. So it, it, it's, it adds up. And instead of like a normal attack, you know? Okay, uh, heals please. Luna's got heals for days. Swear, is Luna like the best white mage to ever exist in an RPG? Because in all seriousness, she her she's just like never any heals. It's pretty amazing. Okay, that is a lot of ants. Hopefully he takes care of the first two. Then I'm hoping the ants move. Because I need the ants to move. Ooh, he got there. Okay. Just barely got there. Oh, that crit sucks. 
it's fine though. No. Oh, that, that should be fine because we do have uh, the movement range, right? Yeah, we do. Or the agility range. This also looks like a trap chest, too much in the open. I want actual treasure, dang it. Is that too much to ask? I don't mind too much though, because these fights, uh, these fights will keep me going. Very, very good experience, and we have first attack. So as long as we have first attack, we're good. Now there's five of them, and they all do that, uh, that super attack, uh, that's less than good. But for the most part, yeah, these, these guys are pretty easy. So, you know, I was told this that you see how they like spin around? That special animation means they're gonna do a special attack. I don't know what what the special attack means until you fight them a few times. But I guess you can see it after a while. I'm sorry, it's been a really long weekend, so I don't know who said that, but whoever said that, thank you so very much. I will, uh, I haven't even, I haven't even had a chance to respond to comments in the last video, um, or the first video. Like, there's a bunch of people who posted new comments for the first video, so I'm a little bit behind, so much apologies if, uh, if I don't give you the shout out that you are deserving of. Well, that cut was huge. Because, no, I don't know. I mean, kind of weird AI behavior there to go after Luna. Because if it went after any other one but Luna, um, he would have been able to hit us. Let's get that fly over here. Ah, uh, fly seems to be having fun chilling up there, so let's leave it alone. Okay, so this is the entrance. So what we want to do from the entrance, we want to go all the way to the right, because we went to the left. And then we'll just keep going all the way to the right. And then we'll come up. Jeez, did you hear that? My goodness. That was terrifying. Okay, um, I want you to take care of this guy because this behavior is normally deadly, right? Yeah. That 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 is deadly. Aim is just getting destroyed out there right now. All right, uh, Alex, take care of that one, because you can. Because he's the only one fast enough to hit that one. Yeah, that poison sucks, but it's okay. I'm gonna probably have to double, I probably would have to double hit him anyway. This is a very deadly fight. Hey, got a level up from it though. Four, three, one, two, two. Two agility is good. Um, speed is good. Any new special abilities? No. Four, seven, one, 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 two, two. Very good level ups there. And of course, just two HP because, you know, screw actually the idea of getting stronger, right? <laughs> I know I can play about every single level up, but it's true. It's so true. Okay. Jeez, that sound is terrifying. This is a trap. Yeah, I knew it. Like I said, you kind of know which ones are traps after a while. This is not a trap. Oh. Yeah, because it's empty. <laughs> okay, I've been here. This is good. Probably take these guys out. These guys aren't much of a threat. They're they're fine. Although that one in the back scares me. Because I can't get to him. And Luna, I don't know. Well, she did low up. She may be fast enough now. Nope, she is not. Jeez. Only she was a little bit faster. She could have stopped that. Okay, did 
take this guy out next. I need to figure out a way to set the AI. Tactics 2. So now if I do AI, will they do the special moves or do they just attack? Because I think just attacking is going to be very useful to speed up the battles a little bit, you know? Because it's... Um, because there are times I want to decide which way they're going, but for the most part, just go after the first thing in front of you. Like this one, I probably want to hit the guy in the back, but I'm not going to be able to hit the guy in the back. So if I hit AI, you're going to use the special move. Yes, you are. Okay. That's, um... I may have to do it for the menu. Because that tactics may be only... Yeah, that's... That's not good. It's fine. It's fine. I maybe I'll just hit tactics twice. Like maybe AI is not the answer that I need. And the heart makes it so I don't have to heal, and she is kind of running low on HP on MP, so it's not the worst. Um, it's null, isn't it? Let's see, no tactics. Oh, you can edit it. Ah. Okay, so you can actually edit it to tell them to do specific things using tactics. All right, come on. Okay, don't come on then. All right, you want to hit me from this angle then? That's fine. I like it's gonna give you a special advantage. I thought you gave him a first hit. That would have sucked. Okay, um, you need to go after the one that's spinning. Uh, you need to go after the one in front. I know I could kill the small bee, but I think I could kill this yellow one if everyone gangs up on it. Oof. Ugh, the poison sucks. Yeah, you see? And now I can have Alex go after the, uh, the little one, and everyone else should kill the, uh, the big one. Especially with a crit. Nice. Very nice. See, sometimes uh, you don't want to rely on the tactics. You want to make sure you select the right, the right targets. Okay, so that's the exit. Is there anything over here to the right? Uh, no, I think I cleared the map. Like, like in my head, I think I went around all the spots. What is this supposed to be? Some kind of booby trap? I can't imagine a creature dumb enough to stumble under this thing. Hey! Hey there! Get me out of this thing! Okay, apparently someone did! That sound like it came from further up the trail. Okay, someone didn't get stuck in one of those, but they got... Nope, someone did get stuck in one of those. Uh, hello? Hello? Who's in there? Um, what exactly are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, peasant? Wow. I order you release me from this contraption immediately. It sounds pretty rude, Alex. What are you gonna do? I say we leave him there. He doesn't hurt, and I'm sure he'll get out of this thing eventually. Well, I'm tempted to agree. I think we should help him. Luna has such a good heart. Lake didn't desert us when we needed his help. I suppose you're right. Hello there. Okay. Uh, hi, pretty boy. Hey there, kitties. My name is Nash. I'm a level three apprentice from the famous magic city of Vane that floats around the goddess tower. The area around the sea hag's house can be a little tricky, so be sure to watch your step around here, okay? Okay? See a, uh... Well, I mean, Lake had an introduction, but he wasn't a, a playable character. What are you saying? You're the one who was trapped, pal, not us. And it would it kill you to let a thanks pass your lips? Who, me? I'm in the third rank of the Magic Guild. And the best magician in my age group. I'm also apprentice to the powerful sage, Galeon. How dare you say I was trapped when I was just, uh, 
Let's see. When I was investigating how this silly device was made, of course. <laughs> Look, I can't do the same voices as the voice actors do. I can't. I, I just want to let you all know, I can't do that. But what I will do is I'll have fun giving them voices which I feel they deserve. Or actually what I do is normally I just go with the first thing that pops in my head. So I look at him and I look at him as like this pompous, like rich brat. So I just give him like this air of superiority, you know? And uh, yeah, so that's how I choose these things. This is why I hate leaving the city. You country folk don't have any manners. You've been talking at us since we got you out of that trap and we don't have any manners? Hello, Nash. My name is Luna. We are all travelers from the village of Berg. These are my friends, Alex, Remus, and Nal. Are you also going to visit the old woman? You should join us. It would be much safer for us to travel together. Go with you? Well, protecting beautiful women in simpletons is the duty of every guild member. Hmm, alright, I will travel to the Egg's house with you. I just hope you'll appreciate my exceedingly kind gesture. Oh, I think I have a headache. <laughs> I think Nash is a headache. Yeah. You said you were from Virg Village, didn't you? I heard that a girl with a wondrous singing voice lives there. Do you know of her? I know Luna is really good, but I don't know about wondrous. No, I think she's wondrous. You're the singing princess of Berg. I would love to hear you sometime, Luna. Well, all right. All right, I'll hold you to that. Now let's go have a few words with this old bag. Who put you in charge, Buster? Alex, this guy bugs me a lot. Yeah, I mean, he's always trying with me. He's always a party member! He's level 11! That means... That means he's one of us! One of us! One of us! Wait, why does he have a picture of Luna? Mia's bromide. Nash's treasure? Nash's treasure is a picture of Luna? Weird. Uh, bandana. Last those long locks. Iron bracelet, heavy gauntlet, a robe, thick cloth wear, and a water cane, splash magic. 48 attack. Uh, give item. Good luck to carry. Oh, wow! I, I didn't realize that. It actually gives plus two luck. Uh, plus ten luck. Shop. Bam! Um... I don't know if this allows for a ranged attack, though. I mean, I could try it. But she can use it. Wow. Attack goes up and luck goes up. The question is, is it a long-range weapon? Because if not, then I don't want her to use it, obviously. Uh, no, I need information. Um, I don't think it's a long range weapon. If I just move her up and we'll like all just pile on enemies. Like, is that something we want to do? It's probably not a good idea, but we can try it. I bet those poor chickens are food for someone. Hmm, chicken. Hut of Brown, now sit down. Uh, hello? Just disappeared. Oh, the pricking of my thumb. Something tasty this way comes. Um, hello, children. Don't you look delicious or delightful? Yeah, I told you how to find Elsa down. Where's your business with me? You want the sea chart? Well, since I assume you weren't part with your taste little pet there. Oh my god. Will you trade me the water cane? What? I was given this cane by Galleon when I left. Oh, that's wrong words. <clears throat> What? I was given this cane by Galleon when I left Vane. I'm not about to exchange it with a witty old hag for a crummy old map. We need that sea chart, Alex. What do we do? Would you like to a me to ask him, Alex? Nash seems to be fond of me. Oh, I just... I just gave that cane to her. Now I'm going to lose it instantly. Great. Uh, no way, Luna. The only thing this egomaniac understands is tough talk. I didn't even know it was a weapon. Like, I didn't even know it was a weapon! I thought it was just a quest item. Ah, oh, Luna can do it. Nash, without the sea chart, we can't sail to Moribia, and we desperately need to go. 
I'm begging you, please, will you trade your cane with the old woman? <sighs> hey, Nash, need help picking your jaw off the floor? <laughs> I, uh, well, Luna, there's no way I can turn down a woman as lovely as you. Here you go. Give the water cane. Thank you, kitties. And here's the seat chart. You know, these days, my attack magic isn't what it used to be. Without this staff, I, at least I can feel safe when I go walking. Say, won't you let me watch your cat for you? <laughs> my stick bars is not the same without some tether meat. <laughs> Alex, you and I are best friends, right? Then let's go before she decides to cook you, too. You can't take a joke, cat. Besides, with this staff, I can catch my own cats or supper. Oh my god. What's this? Oh my, you found my favorite cane. Give it here. Wait, what? No? I looked everywhere for this. How nice your children bring to me. He he he. This hack is shameless. One more step your mark and I'll turn you into soup that eats like a meal cat. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just give it two stabs? Of course I was just king cat. I never cook you. He he he. Hold me, Alex. Hold me and don't let me go out till we're out the front door. Wait, did we just lose, like, two items? Oh my god, I just lost both staffs. And I didn't even get anything in return. Well, how is that a thing? Wait, how is that a thing? I didn't get anything for that. Oh my god, this thing just robbed me on my staff. Are you kidding me, game? Ah, uh, healing herbs illustrate magician's desk reference. Tongue of frog. It's not just for breakfast anymore. Cats eat other white meat. I think that's enough for one day, don't you? Yeah. What's that smell? It smells like there's a frog in there, or a snake, or both. I don't feel so good. I can't believe I just lost a weapon for Nash, and I got nothing for it. I got absolutely nothing for it. I didn't even know that I was giving her the weapon. I would. I mean, RPGs, you talk to everyone multiple times is what you do, right? So why was that a thing? Why is that a thing, game? Oh my gosh, that is just... That's just no bueno. Well, let's try out some of our magic that he has now because he can't attack. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go with the multi-attack on this dude. Uh, you can just hit that thing. You know, that thing, and you. Thunder attack. Okay, so that has two. Check this out. Oh, he's fast. Nice! He's got a lot of MP, too. I need to fix our formation. Oh, I can't believe I lost my weapon. That is just... Yeah, I'm still going about that. I know, I know, I know. Uh, formation, formation, formation. Oh, uh, let's see. You can stay there. How about we have you, like, go way back there? And then you can go way back there. And I want you to go... Why don't you guys come in a little? Like that. Because I don't think magic has a range. I think it just blow anything up from anywhere, so, you know, that's good. But, now, now we're gonna have to go. I don't think they sell any magical staves at the shop, though. So the question is, can I give him a bow? Because if I can't give him a bow, that's gonna be um very disappointing because I'm not gonna have, I I'm not gonna have the ability to really do anything with him. I wonder what's every what's going on. Everyone looks so busy. I bet they're just trying to finish out the work for dinner. Um, that reminds me. What do we eat? Uh, yeah, I I need to also save because I haven't saved. Uh, let's see. Weapon shop. Uh, bye. Good. I can give him an archer. Good. 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 Because that would have been very, very bad if I did not have a weapon for him. Although, then again, I probably could just rain down magic until he ran out of magic, right? Yeah, I probably could. 
Alright, my friends, well, my name is the Flightless Bearer. This is your story based gaming channel, and this is our continue playing Let's Play Lunar. So, we'll start story complete for the PS1. Hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic day today. In our next episode, we will uh, turn in the sea chart and head to Merbia. Merbia? Merbia. Merbia. And also, maybe we'll meet um, Hal Mel. Who knows? But we do have our fourth party member, which is fantastic. Because. Our third party member is a little bit of a disappointment. <laughs> Seriously, like, Ramus is not gaining any stats. Um, is there a way to see stats? So, Ramus' stats, he's a 30 20. I mean, she almost has enough more attack than him now. She has more defense. The mage has more defense and almost as much attack. He's got 14 agility, which is. Beyond slow. Ramus has the most agility, which is really good though, because he can throw down that magic. Wisdom is 42. Luna is actually 50. That's impressive. Uh, range 10, look 9. And one has like range of 10. He has range of 13 now. Yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.